Alex, so this time tomorrow, there will be some big sounds coming from the field at Lucas Oil Stadium. Marching band competitions are back this year, and this weekend will be the first of two big bands of America championships happening over the next four weeks. We spoke to the head of Music for All, a group that puts on the competitions about the Indie Super Regionals. Check it out. Bands of America uh, is a series of events across the country. We have 22 this year uh, that culminate in the Grand National Championships in November. We are totally at capacity with 64 groups from seven states and 43 of those are groups from Indiana. We are so glad to, uh, as we say, hashtag BOA together again. Our mission is to create, provide, and expand positively life-changing experiences through Music For All with a vision to be a catalyst to ensure that every child across America has access and opportunity to active music making in their scholastic environment. Essentially, we are a nonprofit music education, events, and advocacy institution dedicated to building leaders, celebrating teaching, and the art of excellence. And that leadership aspect is a through line of all of our programming. So we have Bands of America during the fall, we have a national uh, concert festival in the spring, and then a summer camp, uh, the summer symposium at Ball State University, where we have about 1,700 students that leadership is the thing. So we're not in the business of making professional artists, we're making professional people. Since 1984, at the then Hoosier Dome, we have been running events at uh, the, either the uh, RCA Dome or Lucas Oil Stadium. And it was by design of Visit Indy, the Convention Visitors Bureau of Indianapolis and the city to relocate or move uh, then Bands of America. And we switched uh, our uh, namesake to Music for All in about uh, 2007, 2008 to Indianapolis by design. So they physically relocated us from the Chicagoland area to Union Station in 2003 so that we could embed ourselves and become a part of the fabric of the community. So while we're a national organization, Indy is where we work, live, and play, and we are dedicated to uh, assisting as much as we can uh, with both IPS, Indianapolis Public Schools, the surrounding communities, Central Indiana, and Indiana uh, schools generally. And our thanks to Dr. Jeffrey Earnhardt for being with us. The Bands of America Indy Super Regional gets underway with preliminary competition tomorrow morning. The gates of Lucas Oil Stadium open at 930. 64 bands are there, including 43 from Indiana. And the top 12 scoring bands from prelims will advance to the finals on Saturday night. We have more information on tickets and how you can also watch a live stream of the competition at home. You can find that all out at WRTV.com. And hopefully, Todd, as they're heading to Lucas Oil Stadium, they have some decent weather because I'm sure they'll spend some time outside. What can we expect as we're heading into the weekend? You know, it's definitely going to be cooler, but it's not necessarily going to be wet. That is uh, the good news. And you can see the sunshine behind me right now, Lauren. As you look from downtown to the north with just a few fair weather clouds, it looks great out there. And it's honestly not all that bad. Uh, but the sunshine, unfortunately, going to be fairly short-lived here over the course of the next couple hours. The temperature's at 61 degrees, and here's our issue throughout the day today. It's the wind. Now, if you joined us this morning on Good Morning Indiana, the wind was out of the southwest. It was still mild. That wind has changed direction, and it has become very gusty across the area with wind gusts anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour. And uh, that's where it's going to stay at least through much of the afternoon before those winds start to die down just a little bit as we work our way into the evening hours. But because it's a westerly wind, it's also driving in cooler temperatures to the area. Look at Connersville, 68 degrees, still nice and mild for this time of year. Monticello down to 53 degrees, 56 in Lafayette. So the trend will be for the cooler air to continue to overtake the warmer air as we work our way throughout the afternoon hours. Now it's going to be a pretty slow and gradual process. As you see, we're still right around that 60 degree mark through 4 p.m. and then we start to fall into the 50s as we work our way towards the evening hours. But with the breeze, it's going to feel even a little bit cooler than the numbers you see here. So just keep that in mind. Now
Now this morning we had some rain showers. Those have all pushed off into Ohio. We have this nice little wedge of clearer skies here across central Indiana, and that's the sunshine you saw in the tower camera. While well, a pretty vigorous area of low pressure is moving across Lake Michigan right now, and this is going to spin the clouds into our area. I'm not too concerned about the rain. There could be a spot shower, but it's more so the rain chance or the clouds that'll move in compared to the rain chances this evening. So the trend will be cooler, still breezy, and becoming mostly cloudy throughout the evening hours with sunset that'll be at 657 and then for the day tomorrow it's going to be a cool day it's going to be one of the cooler high temperatures we have seen in quite a while and it's not going to help with the lack of sunshine out there either so tomorrow's definitely a day you want